So here is the ultimate man cave slash gear room video. I've had a lot of requests from subscribers and friends about my gear room to give them an update. This is always evolving. It's kind of like the bat cave. I compare it to the bat cave a lot. It's always uh, changing. I'm adding to it, taking away stuff I don't need, adding stuff that I want. Um, I've really dialed it in. But I'm gonna give you a breakdown of everything here. I'm gonna show you where I've got and what I've got and where I put it. So stay tuned. First is the axe board. Now this used to be a gun rack, but I've changed it because I'm more into the axes and stuff than I am the guns. So these are, this is my Collins axe. This was my dad's old Stanley axe from the 70s, way back. I restored it uh, and put a new handle on it, hung a new handle on it. This is a Wetterlings. That is a, a, gift, of, a gift from a good friend of mine. Um, Rose Holler Forge hatchet, or tomahawk, excuse me. Uh, a uh, hatchet from River's Edge Cut Cutlery. This is my saw, my uh, folding Gerber Freescape saw that you see in all the videos. Uh, Gerber pack axe, love this thing. Throwing tomahawks, my duct tape. Before I move on to the backpacks, uh, let me show you where I put the guns now. Uh, my pistols. So here's where I've put the guns. I've had these drawers for years, but they're very handy. I keep utensils in this one, multi tools, accessories, and stuff, and maintenance in this one. This one is just a hodgepodge of uh, old knives and saws and stuff that I hardly ever use. Although this one is dad's. This is one my dad wore on his belt for years very sentimental to me these are my lights and batteries and stuff so this drawer is the every camp carry drawer and this changes a lot as you can see there's not much in it because I'm always taking and putting stuff in there so I'll refill this as I think about what I'm gonna be taking on my trip this goes in here this is belty this is my favorite leather belt and I wear that a lot and the last drawer is just tent pegs and stuff Behind the lie is my, my gun case. That's my um, gun backpack. So when I go to the range, I can throw my AR-15 in there. This is my hidden woodsman haversack. And I, I keep certain things in this, like I keep my more knife on the side, a small, robust more knife, and a little pad inside. Just little things, a little flashlight. Um, this is my repelling rope. Mule tape, given to me by a friend of mine. And I've got to figure out something cool to do with that. This is my trusty Ibex 20. I love this pack. This is one of my favorites. Um, and I keep certain things with each pack, like another knife, and so forth. My Pathfinder patch. So here's an Ibex 26 with all kinds of pouches on it. And some really cool uh, Hidden Woodsman morale patch. The Glow in the Dark patch. Uh, heavy Cover Canteen lives on this with a canteen cook set. You know, it's got that canteen cup in there. On this side, I keep my tourniquet, and I keep my, this is like an every camp carry pouch. I really, you can tell how dirty it is. I've gotten a lot of use, a lot of wear out of this. This is one of my favorite little pouches. So I just take this thing off real quick and throw it in my other packs whenever I go somewhere. Can you see my cook stuff? I keep my, here we go. And I keep my cook stuff hanging here again to remind me to take it with me and you can see up top is my light sambuuru spear did a video on that throwing that thing that thing's a blast so much fun this is my abex um 45 liter pack this is my winter pack and i'll tell you a little secret here this is where i store sleeping bags so you don't on most of your sleeping bags you don't want to keep them all cinched up in their stuff sack you want to let them open up a little bit and breathe so if you put them in your backpacks it allows that to happen it's a good way to store your sleeping bags inside your backpack plus it makes your backpack look full it looks better on display um, added some pouches to it my dump pouch 
And then on the side, I've got my Hidden Woodsman pack. Now, see how this is upside down? I bought this from Malcolm himself at a festival. Bushcraft, uh, Pathfinder gathering. And he sold it to me cheap because it was sawn on upside down. And I was going to bring it home and fix it. But I decided because it was so unique and one of a kind, and from Malcolm himself, that I decided to keep it that way. Keep it that way. My 7030 wool blanket. It's one of my favorite little wool blankets. Real lightweight, but it, it does the trick. My uh, Red Wing 50. It's 50 liter backpack from Kelty. Now over here is another little Kelty pack that I've kept for a long time. This is just a little day pack that I use. And inside it, again, is a uh, 45 degree sleeping bag. And just like the other packs over here, I've got inside here, this is a Kelty Cosmic 20. This is a 20 degree sleeping bag. I think that one, the big one I showed you was a zero degrees. This is 20. So I try to keep the sleeping bags with their perspective packs. Since this is a winter pack, I'm going to keep my winter sleeping bag in that pack. Uh, again, winter pack, uh, one I don't use as much. Sleeping bag I don't use as much in there. And in here is my uh, uh, 40 degree sleeping bag. So it's a lighter pack, a lighter sleeping bag. That just helps me remember, remember where everything's at. The backpack racks themselves are made from get this down. Are made from black iron pipe. And I actually spray painted it a uh, gloss, semi-gloss black, and then mounted it to the 2x4 that is anchored into the wall. So it's a lot easier, obviously, to drill into the 2x4 than it is the, the brick or the, the masonry. Uh, wall here. I did a video a long time ago on a molly board. It's just a board with molly webbing on it so I can attach, quickly attach my pouches and packs and stuff on here. So this is my little work table and I've got projects up here. I try to keep this fairly clean so I can put projects that I'm working on for future videos and stuff like that up here. You know, this is just a card I got from, I think, a Home Depot. But inside, I keep most of my knives, including Uncle Bushcraft knives, handmade knives, multi-tool, saw, more knives. Pouches, stoves. These are things that I use. This, this work box here, this toolbox, is um, something I go to every time. This is where I keep all my stuff I'm using all the time. More stuff that I use all the time. You probably recognize some of this stuff. And lastly, just odds and ends. Water purification, water containers, medical kit. This is my search and rescue pack. This is a little 24 hour go pack that I know that's got extra stuff in here I can just grab it and go more search and rescue gear. So I know if I take these items here and whatever else I want to grab, I'm good to go. I'm always guaranteed at a moment's notice to have my appropriate gear for search and rescue. So in this back corner here, you're seeing odds and ends like a little water bladder, um, gas mask, rain gear, um, camouflage, uh, some odds and ends in the box there. And this, these are all under quilts for um, hammocks. And this is a, the rock poncho, the heavy wool blanket. Um, and down here is some blankets that I've made over the years. So this is heavyweight sleeping bag, a blanket I made, a North Place sleeping bag that a friend of mine gave me, another heavyweight sleeping bag, a slumberjack. And down here I keep boxes of cordage and rope. This is um, the 50-gallon uh, drum, 55-gallon drum liners. So these are bug-out backpacks. It folds up in, into its own pocket. Pretty nice to have. Boxes of more stuff, survival stuff. That's to practice with. That's a lockpick set. 
that over there is a box of climbing gear. So that's where I stash all my climbing gear. I started rock climbing in the 90s, and this is what's left of it. I've given most of it away because I don't do like climbing anymore. Full survival shovel, really nice shovel. And over here is where the cots live. This is where my Boy Scout or military surplus, I haven't figured out which one. I think they're Boy Scout cots live. That's the one I used on my most recent camping video at uh, Fish Pond Lake. This is where my cooler stays. My military uh, cooler slash warmer. Uh, 1982 version. You've seen this on other videos, I'm sure. And down here is where I keep other tarps, smaller tarps, a bivy bag, hammock. Uh, it's a thermal thermalite reactor from Sea Summit. It's a bag liner, basically. Ponchos, screen tent, tarps, uh, more ponchos, um, more another pillow. This is where uh, everything lives. <clears throat> this is I've got a pillow right now that my daughter uses in her hammock and I keep this here to remind me that she's got it and she needs to put it back <laughs> All right, so moving on this is a, an old Jansport frame I keep um, I hardly ever use that, but my buddy Bob loves that. So whenever we go out, he always asks to borrow that, and he'll load it up. Up here is stuff I hardly ever use. Um, privacy tents and stuff like that for camping. There's a snow shovel, replacement tent poles, um, some camping stuff for like family campfire. Now, let me bring you in for this. This is all my canteen cups water containers, canteens, um, lantern, stoves, some little stoves here, a solo stove, little butane propane mix here. This is an Optimus cook set. This is my camp coffee pot. Uh, here's my little espresso coffee pot that you see me use. And this is really cool. This is something I got it from my mom. I heard it from my mother. So this is called a hurricane candle jar, I guess. Hurricane jar, maybe. But you see it has two different places to hold candles. Two different size candles. And inside is where you keep your candles. Then you can use either side to put your candles on. And then keep the other candles inside. That is neat. Something different. Okay, continuing on, <clears throat> we've got our pads. These are our sleeping pads, bivy sack, tarps, jungle blankets. These are the ones I, this is stuff that I use the most. I use this stuff very, very often. These are my tents. So you've got an REI tent, tons of One Tigers shelters and tents. One Tigers tent, my big camping tent you saw recently. This is my old Eureka tent here. This is a Timberline. I think it's called a Timberlight now, or vice versa. Timberlight, Timberline. From 1991. This is my first backpacking tent. I still have it. I still use it. It's in great shape. This is the Eureka uh, Downrange Solo. Uh, another shelter. Down here on the bottom is where I keep... This is camping gear. A car camping gear. I keep all that together. So I've got additional backpacks that I keep here that I hardly ever use. Most of them are like duffel bags. Stuff for travel, stuff for um, going somewhere. This one's one I made. This is a backpack I made a long time ago called the Stormtrooper. It's just a lightweight day pack. Next corner. It's all food. Food. Bug spray. Yeah, I've got them together, I know. My shirts, jackets, everything hung up over here. Morale patches. And also in the corner you'll see something very, very important. This is a dehumidifier. And that's to keep the moisture uh, in this basement from getting into my gear. Keeps my gear nice and uh, at an even temperature. This is my little cheapy duffels that I keep. These are Harbor Freight duffels. 
but they're great for keeping all this is fire starting stuff I take this to festivals and gatherings uh, for demonstrations but I keep all my fire starting gear in here this is just lights and stuff so I keep a pair of knee pads here too that go with my demonstration bags because I'm always getting up and down off my knees during the demonstrations and that's helps save my knees so this is where my camera bag lives and since I'm using the camera and all the stuff it's out of its spot but that's normally where it lives odds and ends in these little drawers sandals here and boots here got my winter boots and two pair of summer boots that I rotate so this is my reminder board and if you look up here you'll see a awesome ugly tent certificate it says happy 46th birthday dad we love you bunches Ty bug and baby lamb that's my daughter Madison to my Pathfinder certificate this right here is my food locker and it's a foot military foot locker that I keep tons and tons of food in and it is as you can see it is full of food I used to be a mountain house ambassador. Not anymore. They kick me off. <laughs> These drawers are full of clothes. Winter clothes. Winter clothes, rain gear. Extra pouches and bags. More uh, clothing. Socks. Handkerchiefs. Pants. More pants. This corner is not so glamorous. This is hats, my core essentials belt, and ugly tent uniforms. So most of the time when you see me out in the woods, I'm in one of these two shirts. Kind of like a uniform. This is, like I said, this is not, gla not as glamorous as the rest of the man cave. This is just books, my pipe stuff, boxes. So down here, I try to keep all my gun stuff together, including ammunition. And this right here was from my friend Jeff, who passed away this year. I miss him. But he burned that for me, carved it. it means a lot to me. And down here is just more junk, files and stuff. You don't want to see that. Over here is Dad's old Tasco binoculars from the 60s. I still have these. These are. These are sentimental to me too. That's why they have their own spot. Check those things out. They weigh about 20 pounds. And then my security box. Filing cabinet, and we're back around. And as you can see, this is the nerve center. This is my desk. I uh, didn't show you all the drawers and stuff here. Books, radio, flashlight, protective boxes for sensitive gear like electronics and stuff. Basic desk supplies, an old computer that I hardly ever use, but it's good for my music and stuff like that. I use my MacBook for all my editing and anything really important. Well, that's it. That's the tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth the wait. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one. Hence the bow drill um, bow. That's a bow drill bow. That is a bow drill bow. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs>